Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population, 754. Temperature, hmm. It's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ... In thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. 
There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. Oh, I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Excuse me, I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yep. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yep. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Welcome. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? Nope. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. Wears a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. 
The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Solved. Now maybe you can relax a little. Plenty of uh, whispers. If it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a, a Baltimore trans deletion. Uh, the whispers? Or not. 
Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean, probably of no consequence. Hmm, winner undeclared in local contest. That was a tricky one. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Hi, Sheriff Bog. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. 
Here's what I know. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm, good point. Maybe they grew back. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you may be able to help me with. Oh. Okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. We get the moose here in a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. There seems to be some tiny footprints in the snow around the diner. But I don't see any kids around here. Possibilities include stealthy children, tiny animals wearing boots. Oh, cats wearing shoes? Nice, Nelson. Now that's going in FBI records. And I'm still recording. Tether's out. Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with- You a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. I don't, actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign mounted. See you later. Well, we'll see. 
I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? Don't suppose I do. Did you know Isaac Davner? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Feel bad for his wife, Glory. Such a pretty girl. I should really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. So, where can I find her? Inside. Goodbye. There's some tobacco on the counter. Smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Can I help you with that? There you go. Delicious. Thanks. So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. What's your name? Glory Davner. Oh, haha. Uh -huh. So, I'm Nelson. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. I'm just thinking about my husband. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Is he okay? He will be. Well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. An accident at the Eraser Factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident, like everyone says. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? Oh no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. 
Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help. That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. Hello, Sheriff. Agent Tether, good. You're here. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you... No time. I got a hunch about the factory. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. What? Why would you do that? You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. This should clear things up. Yeah, yeah. That seems about right. Looks like the last one out was Mike Lobb. You think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Svens? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. No, wait. Do what to a what? Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance... Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Woods, then walk the trail out to the ice fishing huts. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd wolverine in them. What? But well, they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. I better get back to it. You betcha. Hi there. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. I'm into some stuff. So, what's your name?
Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Another puzzle solved. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? He did it! Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? As safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. No, it isn't. You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry we had to clear out part of the forest to do it. Because spirits live in the forest. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Daryl. What do you mean, a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Well, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scruffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's gonna be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. 
I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. The snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Hello? Ugh. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man, late 30s. Looks like he froze to death, trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna have a look. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I I didn't mean. Ah! They, they tried to, to, to take him. The lock must not. The lock on the factory door. Key. What is this thing? I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. I'm going to hold on to it for later. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Found Isaac Davner's ID badge. Looks like he came this way sometime before the accident. Why was Lobster, uh, Mike Lobb, out here as well?
found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. Mr. Scruffman. You following me, boy? No, sir. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Uh, I can't leave until I get that factory back open. I have a few more questions for you. Of course you do. Is this your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. Well, what are you doing, then? Fixing stuff. That's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Don't get any ideas. I just do my job. I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Davner. No, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect you do as well. Where were you on the night of the accident? Busy. You accusing me of something? I'm just asking. It's part of my job to be thorough. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. Where were you on the night of the accident again? Working at the hotel. You had to go through the woods to get here. Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yep. Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let a guy die out there? Had nothing to do with it. The cold will creep right up on you. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Mr. Scruffman claims he was working the night of the accident. I'm headed over to the hotel to check out his story now. again, Mr. Bjorn? Yep. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stock. Despite his stock, you think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman? He's a valuable member of this community, and that'll be enough of you trying to say otherwise. Do you think Glory Davner's capable of violence? Hmm. <laughs> so that's a no. What was that? Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Going inside to see what happened. I hope I won't need backup. I heard a scream. Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace. I turned my back on it for one second and boom. Okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. What the heck was that? Hurry, it's getting away. Saw a thing. It stole some pipe. Going after it. <laughs> Checking out. Oh my, but what about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the... Someone better equipped to handle your situation. Oh, I see. 
Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. So, will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What is Sheriff Bog hiding? And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around, see this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. I think the sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? I need to see a man about a furnace pipe. I better fix Martha's stove first. What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then, then... Huh? Hello? Well, that was a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Another gear. Hmm. What happened? I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together.
There you go. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh yeah, tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. Mike Lobb is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bog. Help wanted. Well, that takes care of that one. Closed, hmm. I wonder what happened. Well, that was interesting, but I figured it out. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. I don't see the waitress around. Did she go somewhere? That's a good question. I ordered some key lime about 20 minutes ago. Okay, this might sound silly, but have you guys ever heard about hidden people? My cousin's neighbor saw one once. Oh, not this again. He swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So the hidden people are just a bunch of make-believe then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. Those chairs weren't here before, were they? Nope. One of them Nordic guys brought them in right after I ordered my pie. Pie that I'm still waiting for! Hmm. Something odd about them.
That image you just made? That's the symbol those Lodge guys use. Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? Hmm. You mean the old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the Lodge. Brothers of Skagens, or something like that. Brothers and weirdos, if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. You two have any more bugs you need boxed? Actually, yeah. That sounds like fun. Let's box up some more bugs. Wait, seriously? I was joking. Let's get to it. Another puzzle solved. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Let's try to box those bugs again. Let's get to it! Done. That wasn't so bad. How are you doing, Steve? Do you know anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? Out of curiosity, anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese danish. Wow. Well, that wasn't so hard. How are you doing, Steve? 
How's business? Who wants to know? I'm just making conversation. Oh. Well, maybe you can help me figure something out then. It's been driving me crazy. Well, that takes care of that one. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checks out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah, Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. You had me going there, Tethers. A government agent. Investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah, H how'd you go in there? Well, sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means, I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tethers. Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious. I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge. I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Scoggins map. I wonder if it's the same one. There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Lobb was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. Looks like someone doesn't want me to see what's going on inside. Well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then.
you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sheriff Buck! Oh, you startled me. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tatters. What are you doing here? What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural traditions. But that's their business, not yours. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Chathers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Davner in there. The waitress? I doubt it. She was standing right there a second ago. Time to go, Agent Tethers. I'll escort you back to the hotel. Make it an early night and turn in, Agent Tethers. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. Sheriff Bog definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. And now Glory Davner is sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. Glory was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. Where am I? Wait, do I know you? You. You're the foreman, Isaac Davner. What happened to you? 
What are those things? The gnomes. Was that real? <laughs> yes. What is it? What happened? I found you unconscious in the woods. Did they speak to you? Did who speak to me? I'm looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood. Isaac and Mike Lobb seem to be part of this group, and they seem to be friends. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life you cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. What are these little creatures I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us. Living in what nature still exists around us. Isaac Davner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. Do what you must. Rocks, trees, animals. Do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Hmm. A quorum of crows congregating in rows on a vine meant for clothes is an omen of woes. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? You see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles.
That's it. Only one more piece. All we can do is open our minds. The language of the hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. That's all of the pieces. Now I just need to reassemble them. You little thief! Hmm. Gotcha. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting that piece back. gonna let you people keep him locked up in a factory like bait I'm sorry I gotta get out of here
That was a close call. What the heck happened here, Agent Tethers? Sheriff Buck, Glory Davner tried to kill me. Come on, Tethers. Are you sure that sweet little girl? Sheriff, I swear, she is not as innocent as she looks. Okay, I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay out of trouble now. I like my office. It's warm in my office. It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. <sighs> I need to get back to the lodge, fix that gear, and get the hell out of here. Okay, let's get this gear back together. can't let you go. You just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works? I think I'm starting to figure it out. serious sheriff's as crooked as they come looks like he's sabotaged my snowmobile
Isaac, I'm with the FBI, Department of Puzzle Research. If you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. That was a tricky one. Isaac? Stay there. I'm coming to get you. Blocked. If, if the circumference of the Earth is four times that of the moon, then... I swear I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to clear this path and we can get out of here.
away. Go back. Uh, rotate the tiles and... Uh, if X is lying, please. Hmm. Almost there.
That's it! Let's get out of here! Why? Well done, Agent. Tethers. Heck of a job. He got that factory back open, and the President is pleased as punch. Really? Well, he was never actually aware of the West Wing's racer shortage. But rest assured, I'm sure he's happy to have not had to strike anything through. Oh, thank you, sir. Now back to work. Sir, about the factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Doesn't concern us, Tethers. Any missing persons can be handled by local law enforcement. But... You did your job. That'll be all. Oh, okay. Hey, Tethers, what's a nine-letter word for baffling? Recondite, sir. Ha! Huh. Thanks a million, Tethers. No wonder you're our star puzzle agent. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 